the most scrumptious chicken tikka masala this is better than restaurant style tender chicken in a creamy and flavor packed sauce Hey everyone, this is Taz and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make restaurant style or I would say better than restaurant style chicken tikka masala and we are going to cook this in the instant pot. Chicken tikka masala is one of the popular Indian dishes and it's found on the menu of all Indian restaurants. So making restaurant style chicken tikka masala in our kitchen is not that hard. It's all about the delectable and flavorful sauce and the spices used. So I'm going to show it to you guys how to make restaurant style chicken tikka masala in the instant pot. So guys, let's get started. Let's first make an amazing marinade for the chicken. So to a bowl, I'm adding yogurt. So this is a plain yogurt, half cup. So next, let's add ginger garlic paste, one tablespoon. So let's add all the spices, Kashmiri chili powder. It's very mild. If you want this to be spicy, you can add regular chili powder, turmeric powder, cumin powder, coriander powder, garam masala so all these are indian spices available at the indian store so next let's add salt and freshly squeezed lemon juice so give everything a good mix so we don't have to add any water so make into a smooth paste so here is the awesome marinade we can make this ahead of time so next i'm gonna add boneless chicken so i've taken two chicken breasts you can also add chicken thighs next adding red pepper cubed and onions diced so cut into chunks so give everything a good mix and let this marinate for at least 30 minutes so keep it aside we can also marinate the chicken overnight so now instead of chicken we can also use beef or lamb So next I'm going to shallow fry the chicken in the instant pot. So I'm selecting saute setting. Temperature should be medium. So click start. I'm using instant pot ultra model. So let the stainless steel pot turn hot. Adding enough oil for shallow frying the chicken. I'm adding light olive oil around quarter cup. And next let's add the marinated chicken, red pepper and onions. And let's shallow fry this for a few minutes till the chicken has cooked through. Flip the chicken over a few times till it turns light golden in color. So the temperature should be medium for saute setting. In the instant pot, if we keep it at high, the stainless steel pot will turn brown really fast. So this is almost done. So as you can see, the chicken has turned light golden in color. I'm going to transfer the chicken to a plate and let's uh, keep it aside. After shallow frying the chicken in the instant pot saute setting, this will happen. The stainless steel pot will turn brown. So here's an easy way to clean the pot. Add one cup water. So I've placed the pot in the saute setting and using a wooden spatula, scrape off the particles and discard the liquid and then we can wash with dish soap. So now this is super clean. I'm going to place this back to the main pot. So let's select saute setting, temperature should be medium. So next let's make the sauce. So here is some leftover marinade in the bowl. So save this marinade, we'll add to the sauce. So adding a tablespoon of oil, next adding two onions roughly chopped. Season the onions with salt and saute for a couple of minutes and then let's add three tomatoes chopped. So give it a good mix and let this cook for a few minutes till the onions and tomatoes turn slightly soft. Don't have to overcook this. So I've taken the pot out of the main pot. So let the onions and tomatoes cool down a bit and next let's grind this in a blender jar. So adding the cooked onions, tomatoes and adding one cup water so let's grind this to a smooth paste i'm going to use the same pot so going to add the onion tomato sauce so let's cook this in saute setting so select a saute setting on the instant pot temperature should be medium so let's cook the sauce for a few minutes i'm going to add a few more spices one teaspoon regular chili powder so this is hot for the marinade i've added kashmiri chili powder and a teaspoon of coriander powder next i'm going to add two tablespoon tomato paste so after adding the tomato paste the sauce will have a really 
really deep and vibrant uh, red color give everything a good mix and let's cook this for a couple of minutes and now let's add the leftover marinade so this is around a tablespoon so this is very flavorful and aromatic so add that to the sauce um, combine it well and let's uh, cook this for a couple of minutes now it's time to add the cooked chicken, red pepper and onions to this amazing sauce. So give everything a fabulous mix. So let's cook this for a few minutes. I'm going to close the pot with a glass lid. So let the chicken simmer in this delectable sauce. It's been five minutes, let's open the lid. So the sauce has thickened and it smells really aromatic. Let's add a teaspoon of garam masala and one tablespoon dried fenugreek leaves. So this is a must add. Uh, so it will give a very distinct aroma and taste to this chicken tikka masala. So dried fenugreek leaves is available at the Indian store. So give everything a good mix and let's cook this for a couple of minutes and finally adding some chopped cilantro. So this is done. So look at this. So the sauce has a thickened and it has a beautiful color. So let's take the pot out of the main pot and keep this covered for a few minutes. It's time to serve. So let's serve the scrumptious chicken tikka masala in a bowl. So look at this vibrant color. Uh, it's very aromatic, flavorful, so rich. Uh, so we can enjoy this with basmati rice, naan, chapatis or rotis. it is guys the best tasting and restaurant style chicken tikka masala that's cooked in the instant pot so this is extremely delicious flavorful and aromatic Indian dish and we can serve this with basmati rice naan chapatis or even with rotis and we can also make this with the paneer or even with potatoes so do give this delicious recipe a try and let me know your feedback so I do have the written recipe on my blog I'll post the link in the description below and I also have many instant pot easy breezy recipes i'll post all the links in the description below check that out so if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe i'll be back with more instant pot cooking videos until then happy cooking take care and bye